Hey guys, it's Jay and Physio Lounge and we're going to talk today uh, briefly about clicky hips, pain in the front of your hip and why that might be happening. Uh, right here we've got Steve, the skeleton, <laughs> and um, if you can see here, so we've got our hip joint, uh, pelvis, ball and socket joint, and with a lot of those core movements I'm sure um, you, you, you may or may not have done things like uh, bicycles, things like uh, leg raises, dead bugs, um, the, the, the common thing with all those ones is that they are flexing your hip, which is this motion here. Now, what should happen is that, imagine, so here's the socket, here's the ball, as that hip starts to come upwards, that ball should stay relatively centered within the socket, and you can probably see here, there's a bit of space that should remain preserved. However, what can happen, and, and particularly with these type of exercises, um, is that we get a lot of overactivity or a lot of activity through the anterior hip musculature, like your you know, hip flexors and that kind of stuff, which can lead to this almost kind of migration of the ball up in the socket. So rather than it staying, you can see the space there, rather than that space staying preserved, it starts to ride up like this. And you might feel that as a pinch, you might potentially, although I'm not saying this is an injury, you might start getting some clicking or some irritations and maybe even pain at the front of your um, hip. You might start feeling tightness at the front of your hip flexors that might be a, a protective reaction to try and stop that excessive you know, uh, forward motion as a, as a kind of barrier to that. Uh, so it could be any, any number of those things. But if you are experiencing this, um, as you'll see in the article, try not to just jump to straight to try and stretch the hair out a bit. Because the likelihood is that you've got a hip stability issue and pulse centering of that ball in the socket. So I hope that helps guys and see you soon.